YouTube family. Welcome back to my channel uh, where we talk about all things investing and personal finance with the journey and hope that we will be able to uh, inspire someone to go ahead and get started with their financial freedom journey today. As you can see, we're talking about Tesla today. And the reason we're talking about Tesla is because of the uh, short term decline that we've seen over the last week, week and a half. And so we're going to go ahead and get into this article, which will bring some insight to everybody. Um, but before we do that, if you would just go ahead and take a moment to go ahead and smash that like button for me and hit the subscribe, maybe leave a comment on the article, that would be absolutely awesome. With that said, let's go ahead and get right into it. Tesla stock falls as production of top selling EV halted at key plant. Tesla has reportedly halted production of its Model 3 sedan at its Fremont, California factory amid a global chip shortage that's hitting the auto industry. Tesla stock fell sharply. Staff of the Model 3 production line were told their line would be idle from February 22nd to March 7th. Tesla would pay staff for uh, February 22nd and February 23rd, but not for February 28th, March 1st, March 2nd, or, or the 3rd. Instead, they were advised to take vacation time if possible. The report did not specify the reason Tesla paused operations, but the ongoing global chip shortage may be one reason. <clears throat> the winter storm in Texas last week that shut down the Samsung factory in Austin could have impacted chip supply further. While it is unclear if Samsung currently supplies Tesla with chips, it has been a customer in the past. And the two announced last January a partnership to produce a new five nanometer chip for uh, full self-driving, according to Electric. Weedbush analyst Daniel Ives said the shutdown is more around chip shortages and not demand-driven, which continues to plague GM and other automakers in the near term. He added that based on his analysis, there will still be some supply of Model 3s from quarter four in the Fremont lot, and he is not overly concerned that this supply, uh, supply chain factory disruption changes the overall delivery trajectory for quarter one and 2021. It is not known how much production will be lost due to temporary closure. The Fremont factory has a capacity of making 600,000 vehicles a year. Tesla, which delivered almost 500,000 vehicles worldwide last year, said it expects to increase deliveries by more than 50% this year. In 2020, Tesla closed the Fremont factory for the holidays from December 24th to January 11th. At the time, Tesla offered a full week of pay along with a few paid holidays. Employees were also asked to take five days off unpaid unless they opted for or found work in other areas of the factory. Tesla also produces Model 3s at its China plant, but the Fremont plant has the biggest capacity. Tesla stock. Shares were down 8.1% uh, 8, 8 at $822.22 on the stock market today. IBD leaderboard stock Tesla is firmly uh, below its 50-day moving average after giving up the $800 level, according to Marcus Smith cha chart analysts or analysis. With two sell signals triggered, investors should consider taking some profits. Tesla has seen its relative strength uh, line slope downward in the recent weeks. Its RS rating is still at a solid 96 out of 99, uh, with the EPS rating at 76. Tesla is not the only automaker closing shop recently due to uh, chip shortages. We have General Motors extended shutdowns at three assembly plants from a week in early February to more than a month through mid-March. In January, Ford shut down a Louisville, Kentucky plant due to chip shortages. The company said that at the time the closure was temporary, but the problem would be ongoing for months to come. Other U.S. automakers making a big push into EVs, General Motors, fell 4.35%, uh, and Ford was down 3.9%. Tesla cuts prices. Meanwhile, Tesla has also appeared to stop taking orders for its cheapest version of the Model Y standard range sport utility vehicle earlier this week. The SUV disappeared from the Tesla website just over a month after its launch and barely a week after a price cut. CEO Elon Musk later clarified that the vehicle is available off the, off the menu uh, on a special order. <clears throat> Last week, 
Tesla slashed the base model Y by $2,000 to 39990 Tesla raised the price of its performance models by $1,000, including the Model Y, uh, which rose to $60,990. Tesla's website on Monday showed a $1,000 price cut for the Model 3 and the Y Long Range Dual Model uh, Motor AWD. The Model Y LR now goes for $48,990, and the Model 3 LR costs $45,990. Some, aver- some observers have said that the price cuts are a sign that increased competition is cutting into Tesla's market share. Weedbush's Ives says he never viewed the Model Y version as moving the needle for Tesla. Continued price cuts has been the, a part of the overall Tesla strategy over the past year, and we do not expect that to change, he said. Ives added that the Detroit stalwarts GM and Ford, among others, have gone all in in the EVs over the past month. The $5 trillion EV market over the next decade will have many winners around the globe. With that said, um, it just kind of gives you a little insight on what's going on um, with Tesla currently. Of course, Tesla is the pioneer of the EV uh, sector, but as more competition comes, you are going to start to see uh, a tad bit of decline, but I, I really think that Tesla is a solid stock that just happens to be volatile, and uh, news like this uh, makes it volatile. So if I were you, I would just continue to hold on Tesla. For me, um, a good buy price for Tesla would be about $350 a share. So if it tanks to that point, go ahead and buy at that point. But for now, I would just hold the shares that you have. Um, don't make any really, you know, any sudden movements. And just hold the company because it is one of the most popular and most uh, common companies in our stock market. And I think that it's going to have continuous profits um, and consistent profits over the years to come. I just think that now that there's more competition, that may be one of, uh, you know, several reasons that we are seeing uh, a short term decline. But with that said, thank you so much for listening. And um, if you would go ahead and take a moment, if you haven't already, to smash that like button, hit the subscribe, um, join the journey with us, leave a comment, let me know what you thought of this article. And with that said, I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much and God bless.